Good day, subscribers. Today is episode 6 of Semester 1, OMS Central. If you would like to see the previous episode before watching this one, click the banner in the upper right-hand corner. In the last episode, we did a halfway review of CS6475 computational photography. We talked a little bit about what the class involves, what the grading scheme is, and how I felt about it so far. As always, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers for joining me as I move through the program. We've made another big leap, and the channel is really growing. We're just above 100 subscribers, which is fantastic. This week's comic is about web developers and the only one that enjoys bugs. In this episode, we're going to be talking about OMS Central. OMS Central is a site that reviews different OMS CS and OMS A courses. It's a really great site and you can see here on the bottom the different ways it reviews as a course, such as number of reviews, workload, difficulty, rating, enrollment, percent above a B, and then percent below a C. Now, let's take a look at OMS Central. So here, we have the OMS Central page. As you guys can see, up here, it can be categorized by all, as in all classes, classes that are just connected to computational perception and robotics, computing systems, interactive intelligence, and machine learning. Uh, since machine learning is my chosen specialization, why don't we take a look at that? And so here it has the classes that are connected with machine learning, and it gives us some information on them. Uh, why don't we take a look at computer vision, since that's something that I would like to take in the future. So computer vision, it has 102 reviews. The workload is considered a 20.4. The difficulty is a 4. Rating is a 4.4. Enrollment is about 500. Percent over a B is about 86%, under a C is about 13, and 150 withdrew. If we click on it, we can get a little bit more. And so here, we have different reviews from people who have taken the class, along with the way they scored it. So when they took it, the level they thought it was, how they enjoyed the class, time spent on the class per week, and which program they're in. And over here, which I think is really nice, is different years and how people did. So fall 2017, about 20 people extra withdrew compared to the other years. Uh, the number of percent A's went up, the number of percent B's went down, but it looks like the number of B's kind of moved over to A's. So it just gives some good information on how the difficulty of the class has changed over time. And then up here, you can see some more information, again, number of withdrawals, uh, average workload per week, so that's hours per week, 20.4, uh, average difficulty, one out of five, and then average rating in terms of how much they enjoyed the class. Overall, this site is really fantastic, and it gives you a great insight into a class before you start taking it. And one of my favorite things, it'll let you know the kind of things you need to know before you take a class. So I would definitely recommend taking a look at this before you sign up for any class. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and were able to learn something. If you have any questions or video requests, leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks and subscribe.